Thomas Adewumi College in Kwara State. They had their 15th graduation ceremony. So let's go check them out. Thomas Adewumi International College in Irekwodun local government area of Kwara State is a two-hour drive from Ilori, the state capital. Located in a beautiful and serene environment, the school, established 20 years ago by an indigent of the community, is graduating 77 students from its junior and senior secondary schools. It's the 15th graduation ceremony of the institution. The event, witnessed by parents and other family members of the students, was also attended by the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Paul Arkwright. It's an exciting time for the students after six years in school. as we are out of the buzz of Lagos or Abuja. The principal of the school, Dr. Roy Lilliman, recounts the school's educational achievements. For us here in Oko and at Taiko, we know exactly where we are heading. And it's been yet another showcase year of chasing perfection to catch excellence. And proof positive that we are going from strength to strength to be the best school in Nigeria. We are what we repeatedly do. The school prides itself as one of the best in the country, a sentiment shared by the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, who lords the foresight of the founder. May I offer my congratulations to the college and, of course, all the students on your excellent performance in examinations. The results that Roy has just shared are truly impressive. And may I congratulate in particular the class of 2017 on their graduation. The impressive achievements recorded by the school in its 20 years of existence could only have come through hard work and discipline. So says the founder, Dr. John Adewumi, as he urged parents to prioritize their children's education. The, the future is challenging and difficult. Let me just tell you, there's not anybody can tell you other than that. If your children are not stronger than you, then they are not being prepared for the future that is coming. And education is the best way to make these children strong. Because we, if they are educated, wherever they find themselves all over the world, they will be ready to compete with their peers. For the students, their dream has turned to reality. As the outgoing head boy and head girl who represented the graduates, recount how much the school has impacted their lives. This works and effort put in impacting in us academic and moral knowledge cannot be forgotten. Non-academic staff members who have also influenced us directly or indirectly are duly appreciated, whose efforts made in ensuring that we turn out well cannot be left un unappreciated. We also thank those working in the Oko Medical Center for being there to cater for us during our stay in Taiko. We also thank the inhabitants of Oko for accommodating us and letting our time here be a peaceful one. The high point of the event is the presentation of awards and gifts to students, both the outgoing ones and those still in school. Yeah, 
We thank God that uh, we were able to pull through because it, it became so easy despite all the challenges because we, we see these children as our own children. So the love that we have for them has really empowered us and you know energized us to really put them through the past 20 years. And who could be more proud than the parents of the graduates? What sets uh, Thomas Adeumi apart, and without prejudice to all other schools, they may have the same orientation, is the discipline. You know, you cannot have a child pass through this school and uh, coming out and uh, misbehaving. Wonderful. It's a very nice school, very great school that you love your child to be. The academics, they are okay, morals manners and everything. They have all the facility you expect. Religion matter, they are not biased. We are Muslims and the school is owned by a Christian person. As the school concludes its 15th graduation ceremony, the speakers advise the graduates to be worthy ambassadors in whatever position they find themselves in future. <laughs>